wish all my buttons were this big. <laughs> <laughs> when I left the hospital and entered acute rehab, I had no feeling at all in my left side. On New Year's Day 2016, Aaron Jacobs had a stroke that left him paralyzed on his left side. Like many stroke patients, after being hospitalized and undergoing acute inpatient rehabilitation, he began outpatient physical and occupational therapy. I feel really good about the progress I've made, and I think I've come a long way. It's been six months now. Having a stroke is a long-term proposition. You can have language problems, you can have cognitive problems, you can have visual problems, balance problems. You can also have loss of sensation. One of the most common deficits is hemiparesis, which is weakness and loss of control on one half of the body. The thought is that a lot of recovery occurs in the first six months, but actually recovery happens over a long period of time. Recovery is, can constantly happen. It really depends on what the patient is doing. With that in mind, Dr. Raghavan and her colleagues created a device with a video game built in that aims to keep stroke patients engaged and motivated while doing a therapeutic exercise. So the more you go out... The device the works in a unique way. Now. It uses a patient's unaffected side of the body to help move and train the affected side. The biggest problem in the beginning tends to be at their shoulder. Dr. Raghavan's device targets training the shoulder, which can lead to recovery of rotation of the forearm, as well as grasp and release functions in the hand. And now really Other typical challenges. Good. What we found through our studies was that the unaffected arm can actually teach the affected arm because information that goes in from one arm is shared by both sides of the brain. You could keep going, but you're tired now. The motion a patient makes with the device connects to a video game that simulates paddling a canoe on screen. The game also asks players to rotate the forearm to control the movement of a basket that appears, turning it to catch fruit falling from the sky. Great. A main goal was to make the activity fun, so patients would be more inclined to use it. You know, I tell my patients, they're like elite athletes. They've got to practice. They've got to be on top of their game, and they've got to practice right. It's very difficult for them to do this. Every day, I feel and more feeling, more feeling, like it's amazing. Bill McShane, one of Dr. Raghavan's patients, has been recovering from a stroke he suffered about two and a half years ago. And I remember uh, thinking, oh, um, this is going to get much better. Don't worry about it. No problem. Uh, a, a year. A, a, a half a year, I'll be cured. Because most patients like Bill McShane have to continue exercises on their own, specialists like Dr. Raghavan are concerned that stroke patients aren't getting enough therapy, whether it's because they don't make it to a therapist or because they don't practice enough at home. Lately, he's been trying out the bimanual arm trainer. Yes. That's a little oh my frustrating, God. Yes, right? Yes. Because uh, you can't do it yet. No, yeah. Right. The canoeing ex exercise is good and I'll do whatever it takes to get better. Dr. Raghavan is planning a clinical trial to study how the arm trainer can benefit people at different stages of recovery. She sees the device as part of a next generation of therapies that patients could one day do at home. Because sensors are embedded in the device, she even sees potential for telerehabilitation. And now we can actually collect data while the patient is moving. At the Burke Rehabilitation Hospital in White Plains, New York, doctors offer stroke patients other video game-centered therapy exercises, including telerehab options. Any exercise could be extremely boring after a while. So the whole idea of the video game is to motivate, to give feedback, my homework sometimes is, you know, to do things that I would normally be doing. That said, yeah, it's hard to stay motivated. <laughs> okay, so row the boat. I think people will be motivated to do more if they can see the results. It's amazing.